Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope and today we're doing another universal application tutorial. And this is the third one in the list. Now as far as this one goes, I'm going to keep this one short, probably one of the shortest that you're going to see. And the reason for this is I think a lot of people have this general problem and I obviously have a solution how to fix it. It is the frame counter. The frame counter is famous for being annoying and in a way, as you can see in the pri previous video. And this is the reason why I didn't do it in a previous video because I want to make a separate video all together for it. So how do you get rid of the frame counter altogether? Well, first things first is you need to be in your application itself on Visual Studio. Go to app and um, what we're looking for is debugger, uh, de debug. And right here where it says true, say false. That's it. And um, in fact, to prove that works, let's press um, again right here. Just press uh, start and we can see it's gone. It's that simple. Unfortunately, it's on by default. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but you know, it's whatever. So with that one in mind, if you do have any questions or anything else, feel free to leave that in the comment section. I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. And if you want to re make a recommendation on the next video, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to add anything in this video, go ahead and, and let me know in the comment section. But uh, as far as things go, if you like this, go and leave a like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to help this channel grow, then go to the Patreon campaign and feel free to donate. But if you don't like this for whatever reason, go and leave a dislike, but let me know so I can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Nope. And I'll see you in the next video.